Hey there lovely people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be reviewing one fragrance and that gonna, that's going to be a dupe of something very popular and niche. So the fragrance we'll be looking at is called Kadlaj Silver Shia Cup. Okay? So this fragrance I know for a very long time. Okay? For a very long time, what I mean, many years ago, I have seen this bottle in one of the shops. Okay? They sell online. And then I was buying uh, like many other man i just um, have to I just woke up clumsy uh some of the coffee spilled on the bed anyway this basically is to wake me up i woke up uh, just a while back it's uh 4 4 a.m here <coughs> yesterday was a uh, outing movie day and everything uh, very hot weathers and the mall over i went they had severe power failure so the cinema basically one hour no air conditioning so i sweated like crazy but hey got a t-shirt aquaman <laughs> that was the the highlight of the day anyway so i was talking about the perfume so i saw it in one of the shops but i was more interested in paris corner some of the other happening clones that time so i ignored this i did not want to buy this because it looked similar to something i already had and i thought it's a clone of that but i was not interested so i'll be talking about this this is a dupe of uh, reflection man by amouage some say it's a dupe of lamal so we'll see what you get i have pre-sprayed this on the piece of paper i'm still sleepy man i woke up i need that coffee the coffee has horlicks and honey uh a little bit of a voice issue so i can smell it on the paper and i will tell you this hands down was a big mistake not to review this earlier or get it earlier uh, why you will see in the review uh, one other heads up that is <clears throat> i got the shiaka the, the blue you know khadlaj blue that one i got first so i have more days spent with it but uh, I would like to talk about this one first because I think this one came out first. Okay, so here we go. Presentation. Okay, price wise, these are not very expensive. These are supposedly or twenty something dollars. Back in that time, I think it was maybe fifteen, seventeen bucks. So let's say give or take twenty, twenty two, like that. Or I think I paid like three, four together. So I don't remember the individual price. This is how the box looks. It has the silver, as it the name suggests. It has the center red. I don't know why because it says silver so could could have been red okay back looks like that and here they give the fragrance notes okay uh petit gran uh rosemary pink pepper ilang ilang neroli orris fruit jasmine cedar velvet sorry vetiver they said vetivet don't believe me look at this this vetivet could be vetiver made more sense would have been more made more sense uh, anyway i guess it's just typo patchouli and sandalwood so this one the box looks really really premium and it looks like uh, almost like arabian oud sort of presentation i'll tell you yeah if you're thinking that yeah he did not make mistakes i mean ue here's the bottle these bottles are very heavy okay but if you see another bottle that actually is heavier that is arabian oud amiri okay this fragrance I had for a very long time. I think this bottle, I don't want to judge, but I think taken from the Arabian Oud design. But Arabian Oud has beautiful magnet. Okay. And these are much heavier than this. Both heavy, but this is heavier. So that's where I saw that bottle and I'm like, for this bottle, I'm like, okay, maybe it's a clone of that. Maybe something cheaper I didn't get. This one does not feature a magnetic cap. It has some weight. It has this pattern. Okay. Uh, throughout the body i think these are plastic and there's a glass so atomizer is good okay very very good distribution and uh, let's spray this on the paper once again many people wanted to know uh, like um, my uh, review on this because they want to buy this okay and i'll tell you if you love amouage reflection man my bottle actually is almost finished i have three four sprays left maybe a little bit more this has been one of my most favorite amouages that I started my journey with. That one interlude. Uh, then I think I got Jubilation 25. Those are my first three amouages. So this thing, can it be a good clone of uh, that Reflection Man? Because Reflection Man, at this point, there was a time we could buy the testers for $150. Okay, That was a very good time, 2016. In Bangladesh, prices were very, very good. Nowadays, even the tester will cost you around $200. And now the new amouages are three, four, five, six hundred bucks. So it's not for everybody. So if you want to get a taste of niche, uh, 
you really need a very good clone okay some of the houses like <clears throat> what are the houses um, paris corner and when you wake up you're all lost <laughs> fragrance world paris corner latafa yes and uh, you know this kind of house they rely on uh, amid al maghribi you know these houses right so they provide within 20 something dollars good budget but some of them are not very good clones sometimes are synthetic this stuff is unbelievable unbelievable uh, unbelievable in this sense that it resembles it resembles like a uh, reflection man around 90 95 percent all the way okay uh, there are differences uh, definitely there are other reviews you can check but i'm giving you my two cents this stuff is so close to the original reflection man okay performance first of all is very good the reflection man original on me like on most part reflection reflection 54 or something there's another version that thing is a beast that stuff lasts like 24 hours plus okay on my shirt this thing still lasted eight to ten hours okay so this is pretty potent if you got like oman version i think i had oman version but the uk version uh, were a little bit a little bit different so this stuff is not gonna beat reflection man you know uh, for performance that's my two cents but i got very agreeable very agreeable the shirt uh, six seven good hours on my skin four to five hours that is given in the high heat and humidity i keep saying how hot it is in bangladesh now we're going through a severe heat wave we're waiting for like a tornado or something to heat us soon or rain it is reaching 45 50 degrees in some part of this area india bangladesh myanmar so this kind of weather is very difficult to go out and stay out there for five minutes you start melting uh, this is what happens i took three times shower yesterday yeah you need that much and i woke up and you see already i feel like i have the sunburn from yesterday so this kind of weather if you get four to five hours on the shirt you get six hours seven hours it's a beast i am classifying this as a nine out of ten beast for performance so now the smell when i smell this very fresh clean um lavender smell okay this is a lavender not just a lavender bomb because that's gonna turn people off this is a beautiful fragrance first of all if you like the note of lavender fresh clean laundry or you know uh, soap you know if you think of a uh, room air not air freshener like those uh sticks they have uh, what are those called uh, hu not humidizer hu humidizer what am i saying humidifier okay not those but you know those sticks that you put for aroma and there's like a uh, perfume inside so the sticks sort of give you it's not incense sticks but those sticks this give this nice smell in the room whole room smells fresh and clean the lavender this is the smell so there's a hint of hint of uh, bergamot in the when opening when you spray for the first time and uh sprayers are amazing on this i i just i don't know how i ignored this i mean this is quality i thought this is gonna be a cheap knockoff like a cheap bottle everything is cheap no this is good so the difference that you get from this and uh reflection man reflection man is so much of higher quality you can tell <laughs> I, I don't want to say because it's amouage that's why it's so uh posh this one when you smell i smell for the first time in malaysia 2016 and i was in search of lamal some people some of the reviewers back then they said lamal is the og like for example robes 08 he loves this his uh, signature scent so lamal is a christmas edition by the way i went to get lamal they had that but i was like going through amouage i'm like what is this house how much they're gonna be you know so i went there in the store nobody was going inside the amouage store <laughs> why because amouage is expensive everywhere in the world nowhere is cheap and it was like around 400 dollars worth the guy was so nice was working at amouage he's like he assumes that nobody's gonna buy his perfumes because they're expensive he's like sir no problem you can try whatever you like and you don't have to have any pressure to buy he's a very nice guy he was okay so he said uh, if you want to smell it i want i said i want to smell only one i want to smell reflection man he sprayed this on the paper on my hand and he gave me uh like didn't give me any miniatures but he said you can try from these miniatures if you want to buy you can also buy miniatures so they're gonna be cost effective i did not buy but i remember reflection man wowed me wowed me in a way that i tried lamal and then i tried <clears throat> reflection so i could definitely see the distinction between lamal and amouage i also could see the connection Amouage was so high quality, such high quality. I mean, it was like a fresh, clean, bit spicy. This is less spicy uh, version of Reflection Man. This is the one difference. Second difference is the performance between the two. Uh, Amouage, the Oman batch, lasted longer. 
but apart from those two this fragrance is just just very close to reflection man okay it is sweeter a little bit sweeter uh, reflection man is a little bit more well done when you smell it it will smell something like uh reflection man will give something like not lamal but powdery lavender some spices some incense so it is a middle eastern perfume but with a uh, like like you know almost to the prada territory you know if i have here <clears throat> prada amber purum not exactly this but this type and prada loam if you like prada loam type of fragrances fresh clean uh like out of the laundry uh, soapy uh, reflection man is for you if you don't like those it's not for you. even lamal is not for you. it's a powdery scent so lamal is more playful the vanilla lavender you know uh, like tonka beans and a little bit of uh i think up top mint right so that's how, where the difference the mint is different with the reflection man so coming back to this this yesterday our brother uh matin durani bhai from pakistan he is one of our mvp <laughs> a most valuable person i think is that what that means anyway him and rahul sharma bhai these two are our the some of the celebrities in our community so matin bhai goes around he buys some of the most expensive niche stuff and he also uses sometimes clones because he doesn't judge and he said this is close to lamal to him then amouage and i take note you know what our members say and i will tell you yeah it has vibes of lamal and also reflection man and it's for me lamal yeah i can smell it you can smell it but it goes for me more towards reflection so this is a dupe of reflection man so if you're wondering if you already ordered it for me i will not say you know i will not say this sorry did i show you the bottle okay atomizer good so if you already got this don't worry if you wanted a good dupe of uh, amour reflection man you succeeded for this price point this heavy bottle the presentation the smell longevity you will not be disappointed and i will not say even if you got it for cheap so go like like casually every day walking this doesn't feel casual pregnancy i tested for testing purpose but i feel like going out a little bit cooler weather not this weather um maybe even in the office you can wait it doesn't smell cheap but it's not for everybody even it's uh, affordable this dna is not for everybody it's a mature dna i'll give this fragrance like a solid 9 out of 10 for what they did and the blue one is interesting too that one i don't know what a uh, dupe that one is but i like that a lot that's a sweet fragrance maybe in next review i can come up with a uh, solution what this one perhaps is close to thanks for watching see you soon and sorry for long video just felt like talking just woke up now i'm back you know half an hour from now morning walk time yes have a nice day guys see you soon and stay safe bye bye